Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the DORA process in detail. So I hope you guys must have seen my video on the Cisco IP phone boot up process and I have explained the DORA process there as well, but this is just a detailed version. So let's, let's start at this DORA process. So let's start with this one. What is DORA actually? So DORA, it's a process which is used by DHCP. That is dynamic host configuration protocol. It is mainly used for providing the IP addresses to the clients or host machine. We can say whoever is request, requesting the IP, that is a client or a host. And they are requesting the IP address and all other details from the server, right? So it has mainly four stages and it obtains the IP address from the centralized server that is DHCP server. So it has mainly four stages that is discover, offer. The so first one is discover, offer, request and acknowledge. And this is a DORA. That's why we are calling it as a DORA process. So D means discover, O as an offer, request and the acknowledge. So here today we will discuss like what message will be the broadcast one, what message will be the unicast one, whether we have a layer two broadcast message, layer two unicast, layer three broadcast or layer three unicast. We will discuss about these messages in detail today. So this is the uh, whole like a uh, diagram for ease. Like this is a DHCP DORA process. This is our client machine or a host machine. And this one is the DHCP server. So whenever client machine is requesting something that would be in the discover message, that would be the first message. So first message would be discover. So as soon as DHCP server requests got the request from the client, it will offer something, right? So it will offer like I have so many IP address and you can check it and then your client machine will again request it. Okay, I am good with this IP address or all other details. And then DHCP server will acknowledge with that IP address. Okay, I am just acknowledging this request and I am going to assign this IP address, submit mask and all other details to you that is look like a client machine or a host machine. So let's check it out. What all are the source IP destination IP source Mac destination Mac would be there in the first message. That is your discover message that is DHCP discover. As you can see in the diagram as well or in the notes first message that is DHCP discover message. So if somebody asks what all are the messages are broadcast one and what all messages are unicast one. So simply you can answer. So first message that is a DHCP discover message. So as of now client is requesting something like client is discovering as of now at this stage client is requesting right or we can say discovering to the DHCP server like I need a IP address or all other details. Right. So the first message would be a discover message. So it will be a broadcast one. So if somebody asks, you can just simply say the first message that is discover, it would be a broadcast message. Second message that is an offer. So offer message would be from DHCP server to the DHCP client. Simply you can say it's a unicast message. We will discuss about this in detail. So I'm just uh, giving you a uh, like a normal description for this. So first message broadcast, second over message that would be unicast. Third message that is a DORA process in DORA process discover of a request. So request would be that is a broadcast message and acknowledgement, acknowledgement, the last message that would be a unicast message. This is the simple answer we can say. Now, if we are going a little bit in detail, then we can say first message that is DHCP discover it would be a broadcast one and broadcast one for layer two as well as layer three. So this is layer two and layer three broadcast. There are two uh, layers like uh, network layer and the data link layer. If you know the OSI model that is data link layer and the network layer, right? So this is layer two. This is layer three, right? So here you can even see this DHCP discover message is a layer two broadcast as well as layer three broadcast message. Now we already discussed this discover message is the first message 
mainly it is used to find out the DHCP server in the network. So as of now, your client or host machine doesn't know the IP address for that DHCP server. He doesn't have any information, right? So that's why uh, here you can see this client doesn't have an IP address as well. So that's why source IP here you can see is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. He even doesn't know the destination IP. That's why this is a broadcast message and broadcast message would be to 255.255.255.255. This is your packet address as of now, right? And then the source message, source, source Mac, sorry, source Mac, it contains DHCP client's Mac address. So this is your DHCP client and the Mac address for this client machine would be here in the source Mac. And destination Mac would be FF, FF, FF. This is a uh, like a Mac address and you don't know the DHCP server. That's why we are just entering this one as a broadcast message, right? And here you can see client sends out a DHCP discover message to find out the DHCP server, right? And same details are written over here as well. The packet address is this. Host doesn't have IP address as of now. That's why we are mentioning 0.0.0.0. .0 and your server will use the host MAC address to reach out to it. So now, next thing. Now, your DHCP server wants to send a request in the offer message to the DHCP client. But how come he will get to know? It will get to know like what would be the destination for me. So he will get the destination with the help of this MAC address in the source MAC, where it is saying DHCP client's MAC address, right? So let's check it out in the offer message. That is the next one in the Dora process. So this is a DHCP offer message. Now this DHCP offer message is a layer to unicast, but still as a layer three broadcast as well, right? So this DHCP offer message is a layer two unicast as well as layer three broadcast message, right? Okay, so let's see what are other things it will get in the offer message. So when server receives the discover request, it responds with the DHCP offer we already discussed. This contains the information related to IP address and the lease duration that a host can use. The lease duration would be like one day, 30 days, six months or a year. It depends, right? So it will contain the IP address as well as the lease duration. And now as soon as DHCP server sends an offer message to the client, so now at this stage, source IP would be DHCP server IP address because DHCP server is sending the request. That is an offer. That, that is a request only. We can say this is an offer message, but DHCP server is sending something to the client. So at that point of time, source IP would be DHCP server IP address. So IP address of this DHCP server. Destination IP would be same like 255.255.255.255 because as of now, IP address is not yet assigned to the DHCP client, right? Next, source MAC. Now here, the MAC address of DHCP server and destination MAC would be the DHCP client MAC address, right? Here you can see the same thing written over here. Destination IP would be still broadcast as client still has no IP address. So now your DHCP client receives the information from DHCP server, like all the information is like IP address would be there and the lease duration as well, whether it could be a one day, 15 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, it depends, right? So next would be a request message. So this request message, DHCP request message is also a layer two unicast and a layer three broadcast message, right? So request message would be a layer to unicast as well as a layer three broadcast message. Now let's see. Now in the request message, client is saying, okay, I got the details of IP address. I got the details of lease duration. I got the details of subnet mask and all other things. So what client would do, client already got all these things. Now client will send a request to the DHCP server. Okay, please allocate this IP address to my machine, right? So client is 
sending a request message with the fields, right? The IP address which you already given. Okay, please align it to me. Uh, subnet mask and the least duration as well. Everything DHCP client will say to the server. Here you can see DHCP client sends back a DHCP request message with above mentioned fields. What are the mentioned fields? So source IP source IP would be still same because as of now, client is just requesting IP address from DHCP server. It is not yet assigned. Once it's assigned, only then it will show the IP address in the source IP details. Right, so source IP would be 0, .0, .0, 0, 0, 0. Destination IP would be same 255.255.255.255. Why the destination IP same? It might be like your client will be getting multiple requests from the multiple servers, from the multiple DHCP servers. That's why we will discuss in this destination IP. Now, next one source MAC. Source MAC would be same DHCP client MAC address. And the destination MAC would be DHCP server MAC address. Uh, here you can see IP is still 0.0.0, .0 broadcast IP this one, source IP this one, because still IP address has not been assigned. Now destination IP would be the same. Why? Because still broadcast as client must have received offer from more than one DHCP server, which I already just discussed in their domain. And the DHCP client accepts the offer that it receives the earliest and by doing a broadcast. So it intimates the other DHCP server to release the offer IP address to their available pool again. So multiple servers are sending their details to the client and client is will be just sending details to one of the DHCP server and sending all the details to other DHCP servers so that they can release that IP address and that IP address will be available in the IP address pool again, right? So at this stage, DHCP client already requested the IP address and lease duration, subnet mask to the DHCP server. Now, the next step would be acknowledgement in the process. So now DHCP server would acknowledge that IP address and details to the DHCP client. So let's check it out. So net, next would be DHCP acknowledge. This DHCP acknowledge is a layer two unicast, but still a layer three broadcast as well, right? and your server gets the request from the host. So host in the previous slide, I have, if you remember, host, that is your client requesting the IP address, which was earlier offered by the server, right? To align that IP address to me. So now it's the, uh, it's a server's responsibility to acknowledge that request. Okay, I'm acknowledging this request and I'm assigning this IP address to you, to your machine, right? Here you can see, Source IP would be DHCP server IP address because source is this one. Destination IP would be this one, 255.255.255.255 because as of now, it's still not yet assigned. Source MAC, MAC address of DHCP server, destination MAC, DHCP clients, MAC address. So now what DHCP server is doing? DHCP server is responding with an acknowledge message towards DHCP client, right? This one is like, this message is a reply to the request message to the host, which was in the previous slide or previous process that is a request. So what it will do, it will send the DHCP acknowledge request to the host, which contains IP address and the subject mask with, that the server allowed for the host. So this is your whole Dora process. So if you want to like, um, uh, check it out in like uh, in a brief or we can say in a small or in an easy language then the next diagram would be for you this one like this is your client this is your server client says hi can you please give me an ip address i'm just looking for an ip address it will send a discover message to the dhcp server and then second thing dhcp server is saying okay sure i am uh, checking my ip address pool and let me check and then it will say I have kind of this x, y, z, dot, w, x, dot, y, dot, z, dot, w, IP address for you. Can you please accept it or will you accept it? Whether you can accept it or not, you can reject it as well. So he's saying, will you accept it? This is an offer from the DHCP server. Next, client is saying, okay, yes, I will accept. Kindly issue or align this x, dot, y, dot, z, dot, w, IP to me and send the remaining configuration remaining configuration which contains the 
subnet mask and the lease duration and all other things which it will send. So client is saying just send me all the remaining configuration as well. Then server will say okay x.y.z.wip is assigned to you and it will send all the uh, remaining details as well. So at this stage DHCP server is acknowledging these details okay I am assigning this IP address and other details to you as of now. So now your client will get the IP address from the one of the DHCP server if you have multiple DHCP servers, right? So I hope this Dora processing is clear to you. If you have anything in your mind, if you have any queries related to this Dora process, just let me know in the comment section. And if you learn something from my video, then please like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos. And if you want to schedule a time with me, then you can just go to this topmate.io slash Rohan underscore Vimani. And these are some of the memberships which I'm offering it to you. You can just check it out by clicking on the join button. And if you feel if it is good thing, you can just check it. I hope this video helps you a lot, maybe in, in the upcoming interviews or maybe in your future. Okay, thank you.